Best example is number five right there. So we got 2x squared plus 6x minus 36. All right. Now, looking at this quadratic expression, the leading coefficient is not um, positive 1, it is positive 2 instead. But luckily, we are going to be able to factor out the coefficient positive 2. Well, why is that? Well, the coefficient positive 2 is a factor of itself. So because itself 2 times 1 gives us back the positive 2. But also, it is also the um, it is also one of the multiplicative factors of positive 6 because positive 6 is the same as saying positive 2 times 3. Same thing can be said for negative 36. Negative 36 can be written to the product of positive 2 times negative 18. Okay, hey, guess what? Largest common factor that goes into coefficient 2, coefficient positive 6, and coefficient, and uh, well, I would say constant, negative 36. Factor it out. Factor out the 2. We're, we're left with what? The leftover. Well, after factoring out the 2 from 2x squared, we're, le we're left with just x squared. After, after factoring out the 2 from the 6x, we're left with just plus um, 3 times x. For here, we're left with just minus 18. All right, now we're not done yet. Again, we have to ask ourselves, is this um, quadratic expression inside parentheses factorable? In this case, it is. So let's see. This is the same as saying 2 multiply an empty pair of parentheses. So with the leading coefficient of the invisible positive 1 for this quadratic expression inside of parentheses, we look at the first term, the last term, and specifically the second coefficient. So for the first term x squared, it is the product of x and x. For the last term, two numbers are multiplied together to give us back negative 18, but also added together to give us back the second coefficient positive 3. Or I would say positive 6 and negative 3. Positive 6, positive six my bad, positive 6 times negative 3 is negative 18. But if we were to add them together, positive 6 plus negative 3, which is 6 minus 3, hey, guess what? That's equal to positive 3, just as we are looking for. So 6 and negative 3 go into these two empty spots. Plus 6 minus 3. And of course, you guys can check that this is the factor form of this expression, either by foiling or trying to use the box method that I showed before, okay? And of course, do the same check for the one on for um, the fourth example on top here, okay? But yeah, this is the factor form of the fifth example.